Hello, hello. Hey guys, how are y'all today? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jessica Fields. I'm the founder and owner of J Fields Co. and Spa. Today I wanted to come on and share with you all about five or six beauty and skincare tips. Um, the first thing I want to tell you all is that if you are a heavy makeup wearer or even if you're not a heavy makeup wearer and you do wear it and you use brushes and or sponges to apply your makeup, I want to make sure you all are cleaning them thoroughly and cleaning them often. Your makeup brushes should be cleaned every couple of days, especially if you have really oily skin or acne prone skin because your skin is going to be turning over so much oil that it's going to accumulate in your brushes. Personally, I don't recommend you use a sponge um, and a lot of people love those makeup beauty blenders because I feel like they hold bacteria so the chances of them introducing it or reintroducing it back onto the skin is higher. But if you absolutely swear it makes your makeup um, application that much more flawless, then I recommend you clean that every single day so that you can decrease the chances of bacteria growing on the inside of it and you reapplying that to your face. So that was my first tip. If you are wearing makeup of any sort, clean your brushes and your makeup sponges very regularly and very thoroughly. The next thing I want to recommend is to clean your phone. Many of us touch our phones all day and every, if you don't notice it, you are touching different surfaces all day. So you are putting more bacteria on your phone and then you turn around and sit your phone up against your face. So clean your phone every day. Just take a little um, alcohol swab. It should be very, very damp. I mean, not very damp, so pretty, almost damp to dry because you don't want to put too much water on your phone. Just wipe it off front and back once a day. This is going to reduce the chances of you putting more dirt, debris, and bacteria on your face. The next thing, you should be cleaning your face twice a day every day. That's in the morning and that's in the evening. Now, I want to also say this, that's a minimum of two times a day. If you work out or you do any sort of activity that is going to cause your face to sweat, you should wash your face again once that activity is over. And I say that because as you sweat, sweat tends to be salty and as it sits on the skin, it can cause the skin to flake or be irritated. So you want to cleanse your face again. So that means you're now up to three times a day, then you're up to three times a day. I'm giving you tips on how to get clear skin and how to keep clear skin. And this is one of the number one ways to thoroughly cleanse your face every single day. The next thing I want to tell you is when you clean your face, don't forget your decollete. And your decollete is going to be your neck and your chest area. These are often overlooked areas, especially when people apply sunscreen. So those areas tend to be a different shade and they tend to wrinkle more easily than the face because you might have protected this area, but not your decollete decollete excuse me so when you cleanse your face make sure you get your neck and your chest the next thing I want to say is make sure you're changing your face towel if you use one very regularly especially if you have really oily or acne prone skin and I said this earlier with the makeup brushes those who have really oily or acne prone skin your um, dirt and oil is accumulating and building up much faster on your towel than for someone who has very dry skin so I just want to repeat those tips for y'all again really quickly. If you wear makeup, cleanse your makeup brushes and your sponges regularly every couple of days or even daily if you can. Clean your phone daily with a quick little alcohol swab front and back. The next, when you cleanse your face twice a day, morning and evening, or after you sweat or do any sort of exercise or activity that will cause the skin to sweat, make sure you're cleansing the face. And when you cleanse the face, make sure you're getting the decollete and the chest area. I hope those tips have been super helpful to y'all. Send me a DM if you have more questions about these tips or just to tell me how great they work for you. I also want to encourage everyone to get on my text list. I do send out really great information through my text list. I let, let you know when there are different events going on at the spa. Also, you get information on uh, discounts, free services, and other special things going on. And in order to get on my text list, you would text Skin Goals, that's S K I N G O A L S, to 31996. I look forward to serving you all and helping you reach your skin goals. Have an amazing, amazing Thursday. Okay.